Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Emily Pritchard. The death of a 91 year old St. Louis woman is now a criminal investigation. Erlene Pierce was found dead inside her home in the Baden neighborhood when crews responded to a fire on Wednesday. Police say she had burns and head trauma. News 4's Alexis Zoto spoke to those who knew her and is also checking in with the investigation. Today, the longtime home of Erlene Pierce is boarded up. A branch sits in the front yard, something that wouldn't be there if the 91 year old was still here today. She's always out here uh, getting the grass up, branches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I also did a lot of work for her. Alvin Thurman was brought to tears as he talked about Miss Pierce, the woman found dead Wednesday inside her home. Investigators say she was severely burned and had blunt force trauma to her head. The homicide unit is handling her death. Somebody did it. The fire is considered suspicious. Video from Powerhouse Sky Zoom 4 shows the fire was contained to the back of the house. Something Thurman says immediately made him realize something wasn't right. Miss Pierce never stayed in the back room. Miss Pierce always was in her bedroom in the kitchen. Her husband died several years ago and Thurman tells me she has a son. Otherwise, she lived alone and was considered the heartbeat of this neighborhood in North St. Louis. Very good smile. Talk to you. She welcomed anybody to her home. Neighbors worry someone took advantage of her. Police have not told us whether anything was missing from the home or whether there was forced entry, but they are looking for a vehicle of interest. It's described as a blue window van. The passenger side slider door has duct tape on the window. Pierce's car sits behind her home along with an RV. Neighbors say she and her late husband like to take road trips. I'm hurt. I'm very hurt. Alexis Otos, News 4. The fire department says the cause of the fire is still under investigation, but any updates will come from the bomb and arson unit. Anyone with information is urged to call Crime Stoppers.